Okay, guys and gals, this video is intended for my subscribers that are, are currently using the uh, trap shooting practice at home uh, fundamentals that I have in my video. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. But basically, um, that video is about trap shooting practice at home, saving money on ammo. You know, I'm all about saving money. I I reload my own shells, try to save a little bit of money there. I needed a way to go ahead and save more money, and that's where we came up with this system. Now, when I started using this, I was uh, pretty aggressive with my training. Um, this Manus 12-gauge uh, cartridge uh, doesn't last forever, and that's okay. You know, I mean, uh, nothing does. But what you're going to find is, is this end cap is what's going to fail. And I'm going to show you why it fails, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. And before we go into that, what I'd like to tell you is, is you need to have a plan B, because if you're like me, and now you start relying on this Mantis laser system to uh, practice trap shooting, you know, if it fails, you need to be able to fix it quickly. So the first thing I did was uh, I bought a couple of these um, end caps, and uh, you can stop your video and read the part number there. And, uh, you know, uh, I've got a, a card here for Manus, too. The uh, website for Manus is manusx.com, and you can order all of the parts I'm talking about there. But uh, the end cap is the end user replaceable item that's going to fail. I, I forget how much I paid for these. I think they're roughly around $15 a piece. But uh, what I discovered is, is you know, I started uh, shooting approximately, oh, I don't know, 90 laser rounds a day, every other day. And, you know, your your mileage may vary on when this wears out, depending on uh, how aggressive your firing pin is. Uh, but what I want to recommend first is to order a couple of these. Because let's say you try to repair it like I'm about to show you and that repair fails. Well, don't worry about it, you know. You may not get it the first time, but at least you'll be able to pop in one of these end caps and get it done. And what you're going to find is, is right here is where the firing pin strikes. And eventually you're going to get a, a dimple that gets deeper and deeper. And then finally you'll start using your... Uh, your pink rhino laser cartridge, and all of a sudden you'll notice that instead of staying on afterwards, like I use a, a Browning BT-100, you might have a BT-99. You know, if you have a Kregoff K-80, it won't stay on because they're designed a little different. But you're going to notice this dimple gets so deep that your laser may only stay on for a, a, a second, and not even, or, or may even flicker. And, and that's because this dimple wore out. And that's the repair we're going to talk about here. But before you get started, go ahead and order a couple end caps. That way you'll have your plan B. The other thing I suggest ordering is these O-rings that uh, go on the end of the pink rhino. Now, I've, I've used this product in different guns at a gun club just to see uh, what the results were. And what I noticed was is on some of your higher-end guns, like the Kragoffs, uh, the machining is so fine, it's actually sharp. And it's really easy to uh, to cut these O-rings and damage them. And it's really important to have O-rings that are not only in one piece and lubricated with a little bit of grease, but um, if they're missing a piece, that laser may not project perfectly, you know, down the chamber. So that's important. So order these two. Um, and uh, that way you'll have all the parts you need. So let's get started. Let's talk a little bit about what tools you're going to need. Um, the first thing you're going to need is uh, you're going to need some O-rings. And the important thing to remember here is, is the O-ring has to be one eighth inch thickness. And uh, because that's, that's the size hole we're going to drill in the end of our end cap and if that scares you, you can stop now, but it's uh, <laughs> we're not going to use a, a power drill or anything like that. But you're going to need some O-rings. Now, these uh, these are Kirk Hills, and these are as old as the 
the, the day I was born. So you probably won't find those, but just find any O-ring. And the bigger, the better, because we're going to be cutting pieces out of this. So if you find an O-ring, it's about an inch, you know, uh, there'll be less curve, you know, the larger it is. These happen to be a, a three quarter inch by one inch. And all that really represents is the inside measurement is three quarter. And then the outside is one inch. And, uh, you guessed it, you know, two times one eighth is a quarter inch. So that would be a, a, a one inch difference between the inside and outside diameter. But you're going to have to get some of those and they're dirt cheap and get those on Amazon. I'll, I'll have links for all of this stuff in the information section of the video. So if you don't want to go searching for it. Uh, so anyways, we got our O-rings we have to purchase. Um, you're going to have to get a one eighth inch drill bit. Make sure it's brand new. Do not try to use something in your arsenal that's dull because we're going to be doing this by hand. Uh, you're going to need an X-Acto knife to trim this thing properly. So make sure you get a brand new blade on that too. And uh, you're going to need a safety pin. And I always like having a couple Q-tips. They don't have to be these fancy ones with a wood, but uh, just to, to clean up the rubber because you'll find that the more that these get used, it almost produces like an oil from the compression. So uh, let's get started. Now, this particular end cap, uh, I had to repair it. I think I was in, oh, I don't know, maybe 1,800. I was close to 2,000 rounds when it started to give me fits. And uh, the first thing I did was order new end caps. But I, you know, I'm I'm always about saving the money. And I'm like, geez, you know, how can I, how can I fix this thing? Is it possible to fix it? So... Uh, after some research, I discovered that, uh, first thing I did was I, I took it apart, you know, this unscrews and I really don't want to take this apart right now because it's working good as I spill my batteries all over the table. These are, uh, by the way, these batteries are, uh, LR44s and, uh, you can get these on Amazon cheap too. I'll have links for that. But, uh, when I first had it fail, I thought it was batteries and it was not, it was the end cap. So... But uh, these end caps actually come apart, and uh, you can see where it looks like there's a, a screwdriver slot there, and you can uh, you can back that out, and uh, you can also see that uh, I put a uh, rubber O-ring in there, but that's a whole different story. Uh, I won't go into that right now. Um, I just wanted a, a little bit of cushion there, so I did that, but you don't have to do that, but... If you want to make sure that, uh, that you, you know, if you decide to take this thing apart and make this repair, what I suggest is uh, getting a fine tip magic marker and making some uh, witness marks on the, uh, the part that unscrews and on the threads. You know, it, the, the truth of the matter is, is even if you don't make those, you, you're going to end up screwing this thing in until it's just uh, snug, and that's it. Uh, and But you do have to take it apart uh, to do the research, like I did, to find out how far I can drill into this cap. It's a solid cap, and I, I didn't want to go through it. So um, really, there's no need for you to take that apart. But if you're curious, you know, make your witness marks. And uh, let's go ahead and take out, uh, like I say, I've I've repaired this one already, but let's go ahead and take out the part I've repaired. I'm going to use this, uh, this safety pin and try to keep the camera on it. Let's open this up a little bit. And let's pop this out of here. Okay, there it is. You can, you can see that now. So that, that is your O-ring, and you can see, you know, this is where I like to use that Q-tip, because there's going to be a little bit of oil in there. But you can see that that hole that I drilled is uh, 1 8 inch in diameter and 1 8 deep. And what I uh, suggest doing is, is when you get your new drill bit, and I can't emphasize that enough, uh, I took a piece of tape. I made sure I was really exact in uh, measuring one-eighth inch on it. So that way, 
and I take my drill bit, you know, and, and keep in mind, you're going to, you're going to be drilling exactly where the dimple is. And you're just going to put it on the dimple and you're going to start rotating it slowly and just get a little bit of material out, pick it out with a needle if you have to, and keep testing it until when you you can push in, you know, and hit the tape and can't go any farther. So that's why I did the, uh, the tape on there, just so you have some type of uh, a jig that will let you know. If you go farther than an eighth, you're going to go through the end cap. You're going to hit a small micro switch that's in the uh, electronics, and uh, you are now well on your way to plan B if you do that. So that's why it's important not to get aggressive. And like I say, uh, depending on the gun or whatever, hopefully that dimple is going to be right in the middle. And just take your time and start working that drill bit slowly and keep it perpendicular to the surface. And uh, now, once you've gone an eighth of an inch deep, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get ourselves a piece of O-ring. Let's set this down for a second. And uh, and the piece that you cut off, you know, you're going to go bigger than what you need because you're going to trim it up. But let's go ahead and cut off, oh, I don't know, a quarter of an inch. Enough where we can grab it with our fingers. Cut that off. Okay, so we've got our hole in our end cap. And uh, like I said, don't worry about taking this thing apart unless you're inquisitive like me and you want to figure out how that thing's put together. And all you're going to do now is you're going to take this O-ring and you're going to jam it in there until it comes to a dead stop. And keep twisting it as you're doing it. So we're using an eighth inch drill bit, eighth inch O-ring, and it should be a nice snug fit. Okay, so now once you believe that you've got it in all the way, all right, now we're going to use this and try to cut our fingertips off here. But uh, just uh, what I like to do is set it down and uh, just start making some strokes while it's perfectly flat. And it won't be perfect. Don't worry about it. You may have to make an attempt going in the opposite direction. Let's see what we got. Well, that's not bad, you know. That's not bad at all. But see, what you're going to find, it if it isn't perfectly level, you can see where it's protruding a little bit. Well, you can't have that. Because what's going to happen is, is the laser's going to stay on. So let's go ahead and let's... Get on the back side of that little nub, and let's just keep working that and just start taking shavings off. And, you know, eventually you're going you're gonna to hit your original part on the outside of the O-ring, but don't worry about that either. You'll know you've done a good job when you go ahead and put it back in your gun, and this thing is not going on before you even uh, pull the trigger. And... It's amazing how long this thing lasts. And, you know, if there's a Manus X engineer out there watching this, um, I'm sure you guys are not manufacturing this yourself. And that's okay, you know. I mean, you want to try to make this affordable for the public. But it sure would be nice if the manufacturer could make these end caps with the hole already cut and an ample supply of... Uh, extra replacements that you can, you know, that are cut perfectly to size and you could pop in there and just pop it out with a, a uh, safety pin. But, you know, if not, you can, you can buy the end caps at 15 bucks a piece. But I, I don't think there's a need to do that every time. Now, eventually this thing is, may have a failure in the electronics and you're just going to be forced into going it. But I, I can tell you with great assurance that uh, I've been using my uh, trap shooting practice at home a technique for almost a year. And I have gone through well over, oh, geez, I don't know, do the math, you know, get a calculator out and uh, multiply 95 uh, times uh, 180. And that's about what I'm averaging a year. And 
I have not had this thing fail yet. You can also see too where I, I, uh, I, I made a mark. I found out that you know that that hole that you drill may not be perfectly centered, and you may find, geez, you know, why is it not working good unless I rotate it 180 out? So I scratched in uh, a couple of lines here. So when I put it in my shotgun, uh, it always performs well because it's in the same way each time. So that's what those are there for. But that's it, you know. You uh, you go ahead and um, I'm going to cut the film here and put the batteries back in and and uh, show you uh, what I've got here when I'm done. Okay, so the batteries are back in. Remember, too, when you're putting in these, these LR44s, you know, the buttons all have to be facing up. All three. And if you don't, it's just not going to work at all. And once they're in there, uh, you'll be able to activate the laser by just using your finger and giving a little bit of pressure. Now, if you find that it's got a little bit too much of a hair trigger and it's going off when you... Uh, when you barely touch it, well, that's why I put, <laughs> I went and found a uh, smaller O-ring. Um, I just felt that it was, uh, it was helping me and maybe it's just me, but I, I dropped in a, a smaller O-ring and that seemed to help me. But anyways, uh, if it's working properly, uh, you've just saved yourself $15, and, you know, that adds up. I mean, let's say, you know, in the case of my gun, let's say it's, for easy math, it's uh, 2,000 rounds and the end cap fails. Well, uh, that's probably 20 sessions, and in my case, I can, uh, you know, I can... I can reach 20 sessions in less than a couple months. So I I just don't want to spend $15 every couple months. Now, is that a lot cheaper than, you know, buying ammo? Well, heck yeah. So if you don't want to repair it and just buy the end caps, you can do that too. But uh, I, uh, I'm i saving even more money, and I can I can use that for powder and primers, et cetera. So, but that's going to do it. And uh, take your time. Make sure you've got your plan B and order these first, plus these extra O-rings. And uh, you're going to save yourself some money and never be caught short when you want to practice before a, um, a weekly shoot or a big match you're going to. And, and that's going to do it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you. If you like it, please subscribe to the Pompano Brownie channel and give it a thumbs up. And that's going to do it for this video.